going to be showing you guys how to know a good skin color net or you could call it illusion mesh YouTube channel if you're new here my name is Ifoma I'm a fashion designer and a pattern dress maker how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing good you guys know the vibe from the title you guys already know what this tutorial is going to be about basically I made this dress for a client and she wore it to a wedding party and I'm going to be showing you guys the whole transitioning from this to this and if you want to see how this went down please stay tuned to the end of this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down and don't forget to subscribe if you're new link to my instagram page is going to be in the description box below so do check that out yes without further ado let's jump right into this tutorial here are some of the things we're going to be using for this tutorial and over here we have our applique and moving forward we have our rhinestones we also have the sand bead and all of that so we have our breast cup and as you can see it's a white breast cup which i am planning to cover up with a brown fabric to blend more into my client's um, skin tone so basically we have our fabric which is a crepe fabric and that's what we're going to be using to cover up the white breast cup on the salvage line you're going to put this um you're not going to be putting this straight you're going to be slanting this as if you want to drip that way it gives the fabric more stretch and this fabric is a bit stretchy not like too stretchy but a tiny bit stretchy and what i'm doing is i'm just going around to pin this will enable me cover the breast cup without having to add any dart or whatsoever you can go ahead to still add that depending on what, what kind of fabric you are working with but i didn't have to add any dart to the breast cup and voila this is what it's looking like so once you're done pinning all of that you're going to be moving forward to um cutting this with our scissors so this is what it looks like just before we cut each and every one of the excess out went in with my needle and thread and basically what i'm doing is i'm basically tacking the um fabric to the breast cup so we can be able to take out our pins and you could do this method of covering the breast cup for the inside and the outside but i basically just did it for the um outside part which is going to be visible to the eyes and i'm going in with my serger or weaving machine as i will call it what do you call yours <laughs> i do call it weaving machine though but anyways i'm going in with my weaving machine to weave the rough edges and you know just give it some nice finishing touches I went ahead to stitch this to my bodies and now I'm moving forward to applying our uh, applique to our um, bodies. You guys will not believe I forgot to cover up my um, dress form with a nylon. This is to protect it from you know the hot glue gun we're going to be using. So guys please try do this process first before you're pinning. I ended up doing this later later on but i just chipped in this video here so moving forward moving back to you know the initial clip um i went ahead to start pinning my applique to the dress the star um the star um trimming you can see over there was gotten from the fabric and i basically just used my soldering iron to you know be able to get out that shape and now what we're going to be doing is just pin 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 till we get our desired shape or our desired way we want um the applique to lay on the dress 
so this process is going to take a long long time so just take your time and you know arrange your pieces together especially when you don't have you know an image where you're looking at to get your illustration from so if it's all in your head you just need to take your time pin and rearrange you know the way you want it to be so basically what i'm doing is just you know covering that part of the breast cup and you could also use your sodium iron to be able to cut out little pieces that can fit into a round circle done pinning all of that in place and this is what it's looking like all basic and all of that so um you guys remember i said i forgot to um protect my dress form with the nylon and this was just me you know chipping in nylon here and there before i decided to just cover up everywhere and this is the hot glue gun we're going to be using it's a small hot glue gun actually and basically i'm applying the gum all over and that's what you're going to be seeing in some of the rest of this clip so i apply the gum and i stick it down guys this thing is so hot i actually burnt myself so you really need to be careful to avoid the hot glue gun from you know touching the net directly although it didn't have any effect when it did when i did that by mistake but you really need to be careful and you know protect your hand if possible just basically me applying the hot glue gun you know around the places needed and yeah so you've got to this part of this video i know you subscribe uh -uh, subscription is free now eh please subscribe to my youtube channel like share this with your loved ones and click on the dumbbell so you get notified when i post a new video guys at this point eh i said no i have to cover up my dress form before i run it so i i'm just basically pinning the nylon so it will be stable a bit and going in with my solo tape and just you know taping all of those down so what this nylon does is protect your dress from from the hot glue gun and the hot glue gun can really be damaging especially when you're pulling pulling the dress from the dress form that's if it's directly 
so i got two type of crystals which i'm applying i got the silver crystal which is bigger than the other type of crystal and yeah i'm just basically using my hot glue gun to lay this in place so when it comes to applying the crystals you can be really really creative with this you can apply this whatever way you choose that will come out you know beautiful I don't know if you guys have observed the kind of smoke that's coming out from you know the hot glue gun that is how much this thing is hot like it was literally burning my hands hmm. if you guys have any other option of you know how i could apply this and still be able to work properly because gloves were not working so if you have any option please comment that down below thank you making this kind of outfit requires a lot of patience and you really need to be patient because this takes a long time to do I'm just using the crystals to fill up where I you know I want them to be and like this we are already you know 80% done once you're done you should have something that looks like this and you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this dress so guys um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to know a good skin color net or you could call it illusion mesh and I have like four different shades over here and basically i'm going to be showing you or we are going to be running the test together um some of these nets i used to use it you know when i didn't know much about you know how to work with skin color nets or illusion nets 
So over here, I have this one. I'm just basically going to be starting with these. And I'm just going to keep this, keep this somewhere. <laughs> we have this one, the first one. And basically, when you pull this, I'm going to keep my hand inside and literally it ripped off. We have our salvage point and we're going to be running this test on the salvage point. I'm going to try this one more time and I don't really need to apply so much force. You could see that this is such a bad quality of net and when you try to use this kind of um, tool net to do whatever project you have, you're going to get it ripped before you even do anything. So this is another quality of illusion net and also a different shade or tone to the skin. On the salvage point, we're also going to be running the same test as we did on this one. So right now, I'm just going to try and pass my finger into this and it also ripped off. Like, these are so much of a bad quality net and when you use this for your clients, like just before um, the client even wears the clothes, <laughs> it's going to rip off. <laughs> you guys, I can't find the fourth one. Okay, so this is the exact one I use um, for my clients. So basically, this is a salvage point. And now, we're going to be trying this. Trying to poke our fingers into this. And it's not coming up. You could see I'm applying so much pressure into this, unlike the other illusion net. So this is a great quality net. So when you use it for your client, you're guaranteed it's not going to rip off just before them wearing it. And maybe any small scratch is already torn. So yeah. So tell me you guys what you think. If you're going to be trying this experiment out, I will advise that you do this without, you know, if you have long fingernails, you can cut it off or if you're going to the market to purchase this because when you use your um, long nails to try this out, you're definitely going to rip off um, the net or the illusion mesh. So I hope with this tutorial, you'll be able to purchase uh, be able to you know differentiate your good quality illusion net from the very bad quality ones. Mm -hmm.